Hey guys, this is Adam back from Titan in the Deep and back with my buddy Joey. And we are going to be playing a uh, brand new game today on this pretty open crater board. This is one of the OG Games Workshop tiles, which is kind of cool. You never see these anymore. It's a pretty sparse board, especially for what I'm bringing to this, uh, to this match today. But uh, we're going to be playing Hold Ground, which uh, if you want to uh, pause your screen, you can read through and see uh, what the scenario entails. It's pretty simple. Uh, you're basically wanting to keep as many models as you can within this central objective. Anyway, Joe, let's introduce your army, buddy. Yeah, hold on. By the way, we're back at the gathering place in Abilene, Texas. So what do you got? All right, so uh, 600 points of Rohan. We have Theoden, King of Rohan, with nine Riders of Rohan. Uh, everybody has spears. Okay. And then we have Aemir with five, also spears. And then Durnhelm with four. Uh -huh. And everybody again has spears. Nice. And here's all his uh, dismounts. Yep. So these are excellent. I mean, excellent paintings. Like, seriously, that's fantastic work. And you did this Thank in you. three days. I did. I painted this army. I uh, started painting it on Wednesday, and uh, today is Saturday. That's hysterical. Okay, so he has a fully painted army. I have a shenanigans army. I've never played this before, so this is going to be new. Um, brand new on the channel is the Dark Denizens of Mirkwood. So we have the Spider Queen. Her little prodigy is basically just little proxies. Just so you know... Don't judge me. I've got a bunch of spiders in the mail. Um, I should have them together in the next, I don't know, week or so. So uh, her warband is two bat swarms, six fell wargs, four giant spiders, which I'm not going to lie, they're badass. And then I, these are my Mirkwood proxies right now. <laughs> we have a warband of six uh, fell wargs. I know they're regular wargs, but nobody cares. Um, anyway, uh, then here's another warband with three giant spiders, two Mirkwood spiders, and a second identical one. So four war bands, 600 points of, uh, is it Riders of Theoden? It is Riders of Theoden. Okay, so Legendary Legion against the Dark Denizens of Mirkwood on this table. Uh, let's go ahead and roll for priority and see what we got here. I'm on a six. You got it. All right, I get it. So that means that Joey will get the first tie, which is the Theoden uh, coin here with the Azog coin. These are from our Nashville group. Anyway, we'll come back after uh, deployment and let you guys see what happened. Okay, here's uh, turn one deployment. Uh, let's see, I'm not, I don't remember all the numbers basically. Um, essentially, uh, Joey put my Spider Queen here. Uh, she ran up on these rocks with her war band. Uh, he, I put uh, my wargs here and they ran over here to kind of guard this flank. These five came here, uh, these five came here, they all moved. Um, Joey, I brought hit, I brought Theoden in here and put AMR over there because they both rolled twos, which is uh, north-south, I get to choose. And then he rolled a four for Durnhelm and he brought her in right here on top of my wargs. So uh, we're gonna go right into shooting. Um, I have basically five shots um, from my spiders, uh, my Mirkwood spiders. They all do their uh, crazy spider web thing. They all move, so they're only hitting on sixes, but if they hit, then it's like basically an instant paralyze, which is awesome. Anyway, we'll come back and show you guys what happens right after that, and uh, then we'll uh, start, uh, I guess, go to the next turn. Holy crap, the shooting was brutal for Dark Denizens. Um, I actually hit, the spiders hit too. One of them uh, paralyzed this guy's horse, knocked him off of it, and then the other one uh, actually hit Theoden's horse, but it didn't paralyze, he fate, fate saved it. So Theoden's out of fate. He killed, however, three wargs on the first set right here, and then he also killed a Mirkwood spider, which was right here. Anyway, so that was turn one, and yeah. it was a crazy turn. Very, very, very effective for Theoden. All right, so turn two, and you get a tie. I'm on a five. I'm on a six. Gets it anyway. We'll get it next. Okay. All right, so uh, we'll come back. I don't have any heroics, so okay. we'll come back after movement. One way or the other. Okay, this is the uh, movement for turn two. Um, good Lord, this is crazy. So uh, he got priority, and uh, Joey slammed a bunch of riders all up into these spiders here. I countered with all my spiders that were on the rocks, including the spider queen. Um, these spiders all countered over here. Uh, he ran Durnhelm into this line of wargs. I countered with my giant spiders from the rocks here. This warg and Mirkwood went to the center here, close uh, to start uh, their, well, when Aemir gets here, it's gonna be bad. But anyway, everybody else is, um, we have the fight in all of these fights, except for, well, technically Durnhelm's unless she strikes. So um, this is what we're looking like right now. So um, I guess we will, uh, there's no shooting. Well, no, I guess I have a couple of Mirkwood spiders that can shoot. I got three. They only hit on sixes, but that's what we got. 
And then uh, after that, then you'll see the combats. So we'll come back and let you guys see what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. Uh, this is the movement and everything. Uh, the shooting, nothing happened on the shooting. Um, I called a heroic combat with a Spider Queen. He countered with Theoden, so they both have two might left. He also did a strike with uh, Durnhelm because he did not want her to be mauled. Um, so uh, he ended up getting enough to go over that because he got five. So she went from fight two to fight seven, essentially. Um, uh, let's see. We've got. Or no, not not fight seven. You still get cut in half. So you went seven. We'll go to three. Hold on. No, wait. Because she's five. Down you to go two from five to ten, five. it goes uh, to five. Yeah, so you're five, five right now. Okay, cool. Anyway, okay, so we're just going to go ahead and do the heroics. They had in one his against my giant spider here. So we're going to see if he actually wins a combat. So um, two plus one for the charge? Yep. Uh, five high. See if the spider gets a six. Yes, he does. Um, your fight. Four. Four, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um... We'll we'll might it. Okay. So I, I kinda wanna win that. <laughs> they had in second or yeah, second point. So he's got one left. Yep. So um you knock the spider prone. Yep. So you got uh six text. Six, you need uh you just need force. That's enough to kill the spider. Barely. Six yeah, and barely. five. Okay, so then you get to go somewhere else. Uh we will come here. Okay, right into the Merkwood spider. Right into the spider. Okay, you already passed the courage test from the first turn, or from the movement, so you're good. And now we go to the my spider queen's combat, which uh, she gets three on the charge. Uh, she's on a four. Okay, and this one's still technically charged, right? Or do mm -hmm. you take that away? Uh, yeah, you get two with okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you'll win it. Okay, so the spider, our monstrous charge uh, knocks you flying immediately, yep. so you take a knock flying. Uh, he's already dead. Okay. <laughs> so she immediately wins. All right, so now she gets to move her full 10 inches into something else. I don't know if I can reach, I don't think I can reach Theoden. Um, but I can get right behind him. Yeah, because of that control zone. Yep. So I'm going to go into... Those two? No, this just one. Okay, and then uh, let's see. Uh, we'll come back after the combats and let you guys see what happens. Holy crap, this one's going to be over quickly. Um, so I lost uh, seven, eight, nine models. Eight, mo nine models in that turn, in this combat. Yeah. And you lost six? Uh, six total so far, yeah. Yeah. So um, I am, let's see, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I need two more and I'm broken. Uh, he needs five more and he's broken. All right, so this is what the board looks like, which is crazy. Um, yeah, that was a really, really crazy freaking turn. Uh, so I lost a lot of fights, and every fight I lost, I basically lost spiders. Um, I mean, that was crazy, crazy turn. All right, so let's go to uh, turn three, and I'll get a tie. Let's see what we get here. Wow. Uh, yeah, I am already calling a heroic move with a spider queen. So the second one. You have one left with Theoden. Yeah, we'll counter with Thaden. Okay, so Thaden's out. Yep. All right, we'll come back right after movement and let you guys see what happens. This movement was crazy. So the Spider Wing Queen won the heroic move from Thaden. He's out of might. Um, let's see. He ch he I basically tied up all of these guys here. Um, this little uh, uh, this spider came over and picked off this one guy that passed his courage test to charge the Spider Queen. Um, he charged this spider. I countered with that spider. These two moved up. That one moved up. The warg went over and charged this one rider. He's not touching AM air. Uh, he charged this warg. The spider came in. Uh, the spider came in on this guy. Or he charges. No, that's, that's Durnhelm. Durnhelm yeah, charged Durnhelm charged there. He charged the, the bat swarm, and yep. then I countered with these two wargs. And that's what the, the build looks like. I mean, he's technically got the center objective as of right now. Um, which we're gonna to try to contest that because I'm probably gonna be broken after this turn. So uh, I guess my heroics, I'm gonna call heroic combat with the Spider Queen. Okay, let's which do it. I pretty much have to do. Yeah. Um, you don't have any might left with Thaden. No, I do not. Uh, you have any counters. I mean, Dernhelm is in a fight, but. No, she's, I think she's fine. Okay, so um, yeah, let's see what happens with the Spider Queen and her two little dudes. She wins in fight already. So uh, we'll come back and let you guys know what happens. Or I guess we can just go ahead and roll for the fight. Uh, do these guys get to throw their spears? Um, oh yeah, shooting, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're totally right. Yeah, we'll do shooting first and then come back. Okay, yeah, he threw three spears at that Merkwood spider over there and two of them hit and he killed the damn spider. That's crazy. All right, so let's do the Spider Queen's combat. 
Uh, she gets her three from the charge. And then I got two more from my spider. So if we get the six, we do, we win already. Okay. So the first thing is, um, I guess the spider, he's trapped. Uh, well, he's not prone. You're not prone regardless because it's the uh, the Spider Queen has uh, monstrous charge. So, uh, Throne Rider for Theoden first. Uh, nope. But he is on his butt. There we go. In the middle. Okay. So, he is prone. Uh, let's see. We'll do the Giant Spiders first. Uh, four attacks on him uh, at strength. He's the seven, so I need fives from the Giant Spider. Uh, one wound from the Giant Spider. Okay. And then here is four, five, six from the Spider Queen re-rolling all wounds. He is very dead. He's very dead. All right. Okay, so the Spider Queen and her spider buddy can now move into somebody else. Uh, let's see here. He only charged with the one guy. Hmm. Where can we do the most damage here? I think she will turn and counter charge this guy. Okay. And then I'll just run this spider into this dude. Yeah. So we'll have the fight on. Oh, actually, hmm. Might run this spider in to help this warg out. Yeah, we'll go into that guy. So the warg will be able to just fight the one guy here. Okay, okay cool. So that's our. Uh, that's the heroic. We'll come back after combat and let you guys see what happens. Okay, this is crazy. Um, one more and Dark Denizens is broken. One more and Rohan is broken. <laughs> My freaking, I, had, I won two fights or three fights that I could not wound on um, that were just awful. Like, uh, Durnhelm had to use her last two points of might to kill a spider. Um, let's see, the Bat Swarm and the Marauders actually, or the Wargs actually won this fight, but they couldn't wound on six or a ton of dice. Um, he killed the uh, Merkwood in the middle. These guys won their fight. I won four out of the five fights here. And let's see, he wounded the spider here, the spider here. The warg won the fight but didn't win, didn't uh, wound. And then the spider queen wrecked everything. Um, those guys won their fight and killed their guy. So this turn is going to be huge. Um, I get a tie. Yep. Four. Four. Hey. Uh, we'll use one of Amers. Okay. So Amir has two left, Amir has two left. and I think that's all the might you have left. Uh, he has three total. Yeah, just yeah. his. So yes. he's got two left. Yep. Um, the Spider Queen used... has one. Yeah, I've got one left of the Spider Queen. Okay, that's it. We'll come back after movement. Let you guys see what happens. Okay, this is what movement looks like. Um, all of these guys got tagged. Um, he did a heroic move with Amir to take the center, which was smart. And so he's got uh, basically six guys sitting there on that. I've technically got three currently, but that's probably not going to last very long. Um, these spiders, all three have shots. Their webs are going into these guys. The spider's queen skirted around and went up into this uh, corner here, and she's headed toward the middle. Uh, we got Durnhelm in a trap here with the bat swarm and a ward, so we have the fight value. And uh, that's pretty much the move. So we can go ahead and shoot these three webs. Uh, this one move, moved so she can still shoot but she only hits on a six they hit on fives okay. all right so uh yeah we'll show you guys what happens after this and then we'll get back to combat okay shooting was highly ineffective um i threw a four with this spider so nothing and two ones with these guys so they didn't hit anything not even the air um so that was all the shooting he threw back with these three guys the spearmen uh, all three missed or no yeah all three missed and that's it man uh, so we're going to get to the combats and then we'll show you guys what happens after combat Oh my god, that was a crazy combat. Um, so, uh, Denison's came back a little bit, but now we're both broken. Um, I am down, uh, oh my gosh, 10, 14, 16, 17. And he is down 14. So you got, what, six models? Seven models left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, technically, ten, but two of them were from one. Yeah. Um, and then I've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So yeah, that is crazy. Um, wow. Anyway, so we'll go ahead and roll for the next priority. Uh, Joey gets a tie. I'm on a four. Four. Right, four. All right, we'll take it. Yep. Okay. So we start taking courage checks now. Yes. And we'll start with uh, Amir there in the middle. And we'll let you guys see what happens after the courage checks. 
Okay, this is movement. Um, if you charge this Merkwood spider here, I countercharged with these three spiders to this guy. They didn't, uh, he failed his courage test trying to charge, so he's still sitting there. The spider queen has two will left. Uh, she saved basically everybody except for a warg. Uh, one of the wards bailed, he was sitting here. Uh, Amir and uh, Mary charged this warg. Uh, that guy went after the bass swarm. Amir went into that warg there, and this is all that's left basically. So um, this is what you're looking at. Um, we'll let you guys know what happens with our... Uh, well, actually, do you have any heroics? Uh, yeah, I'd like to combat with Amir. Combat with Amir. I got one left with the Spider Queen. I think I'm going to do the same. Okay. Yeah, so the Spider Queen will do the same. All right, that's uh, the combats. We'll let you guys know what happens. Or that's the heroics. We'll come back in a minute. Oh, my God, y'all. Uh, Joey, how do you feel, buddy? Uh, it's it's all over. Everything fell apart. That was crazy. He won this game two turns ago. Like, if we would have rolled a one or two, it was over. He had everything. He had The only thing I had was killed the and He had me broken. He had the center, uncontested, everything. And, dude, he lost every fight except for one. And Mary and Pippin, I mean, uh, Eowyn and Mary could not kill a single warg. It, I mean, the spiders won every fight, even the big one. What's crazy, though, is the spider queen, a warg, and two giant spiders went after Aemir, killed his horse, he was not flying, and still couldn't kill him. They only put they put two wounds, he still got all three fate left. It was just two wounds out of, like, a bajillion freaking attacks. All twos and threes. Yep. But this is what the board <laughs> looks like. It's crazy. And uh, I, I seriously am shocked right now. I have absolutely no business whatsoever having this many spiders on this table. None. It is absolutely ridiculous because he seriously won this game two turns ago. <laughs> I was like, well, that was a good game. That was fun. But wow, the dark denizens can be killed very easily. <laughs> okay, well, um, let's see who gets the priority. Yeah. I get a tie on a five. Yep. So All it's right. me this time. Um, this is not great because now I have to take a bajillion. Oh wait, oh, on a one or two, it's over. Yep. Nope, no. we are continuing to play on six. Well, I'll do all my courage tests and let you guys see what happens because this might be really bad. Yeah, let's kill some spiders. All right, here's movement for like turn seven or whatever. I don't even know what turn it is anymore. Um, I went, uh, the bass swarm passed with an eight. It was a miracle. Everybody else down here ran off except for one spider, the one that took the wound earlier. He's just hanging around. Uh, the bass swarm just went ahead and went into uh, Eowyn and Mary. These uh, spiders ran over to here to be able to charge next turn. Spider Queen passed. She went into Aemir along with a Broodling, a Giant Spider, and a Warg, and then these two Merkwood and that Giant Spider are there. So uh, we can just go ahead and show you. There's no shooting, so let's go right into the combats. Um, it was my combat, yep. so let's go after these two first. The Bat Swarm is on a five. They are two. We got the... Uh, and they're, are they out of my right? They are out. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so the Bat Swarm is going to go after a Strength 3. They still have... They are D5. D5. I've only got two attacks. Let's go after Mary. No, let's go after Darnell. No, wait. Both D5. Um, yeah, we'll go after Mary, because um, he only needs one wound. Uh, I need a 5 to kill Mary. He's gone. Alright. Okay, and then the big one here, we got 3 from the Spider Queen, uh, 2 from the Giant Spider, 1 from the Broodling, one from the warg, we're out of might, so this is our... Show me a six. Seven dice. Yep. Six. We got it. Okay, well, let's see what happens here. Uh, let's go ahead and do the wargs. Uh, D7. Yep. So I need sixes from the warg. Nothing. Uh, the broodling needs sixes. Nothing. Uh, let's see, the giant spider. Uh, here's her, her four, they were rolling ones. I need fives from the giant spider. There's one wound. One so far. And re rolling the one. Yep. The second wound. So one more and he can't survive. Um, here's the first. Okay, so I got six more. Yep. Five, six from the Spider Queen. And she only needs fives. He's done. Oh, he's very dead. So Amor's gone. I'm telling y'all, this is. This should not have happened. This is crazy. Like, absolutely shouldn't have happened. Yeah. I lost three turns ago. Like, easily, easily was gone. Because I figured he would, I would have been broken, and then everything on the table would have disappeared. But I won all these fights and killed everything, and I was like, "Whoa!" Anyway, all right. So next priority, um, you get a tie. I'm on a six. Hmm. Oh, you keep it. All right. So I have to take courage test with my bats. Everybody else should be safe with the the queen. She needs a six to stay. 
So this could be crazy. Oh wait, no, one or two, the game's over. Hold on. Uh, first, yeah. Yeah. No, no we are now. still playing. All right, now the Spider Queen. She'll catch everybody in the middle. Um, I, need a, I need a six. Yeah. Oh, she is very good. And then All right. the bat. We'll see if the bat swarm passes. He needs an eight. He's good. All right. And <laughs> I could just fly to the middle and just make you take a courage test every turn. You could. And that would be basically the game. Um, but we don't want to do that. We want to. We want to keep this going. Like we want to see if we can get the table. Because I've never done that before. Yeah. So. All right. So yeah, let's go straight to the combat. Here's the bat on her. Uh, I'm on a two. Hey. Fives win the crap out of that. Uh, three, wounds. three wounds. Good three grief. Wounds. <laughs> three wounds. There you go, okay, so next turn again. Uh, let's see, we'll roll for priority. He gets a tie. Uh, two, six. It. All right. Well, let's we'll see if she sticks around. She's courage five, so she needs a five. She's good. She is good to go. She's going to charge her back. Okay. All right, let's run the spider queen again. She needs a six. She got it. Let's see if the giant spiders can get in to get to Aowen. Uh, you want to measure us if they get 10? Yes. Okay, just run him and turn it in. Um, <clears throat> I don't think the other one can reach, can he? Uh, no, he definitely can. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Let's see what happens. Um, let's see. We definitely have the fight value now. It's two yep. for the bats, two for the spider, two for the spider. So if we get the six. No, a five. <laughs> oh, a six. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Uh, we're oh, going to throw okay. one at this spider. Okay. You need a uh, it's D3, so you need a four. Got him. Dead spider. And then the other two at the back. No. no. All right. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, priority again. I got a tie. One. Six. All right, I got it. Okay. Uh, see if we get a one or two to, to end it. Cock. Uh, let's try it again. Yes. Game, the game is over. over. Dude, oh, that was crazy. Oh my gosh. We'll come back and show you the, the score and everything in a second. Okay, in one of the most unlikely comebacks ever, um, yeah, you guys probably saw after like turn six or seven or something. I don't know. It was, it was wild. I took this entire corner, which changed the game. Like it really did because I was losing horribly, yeah. horribly, horribly, horribly. Because he killed like five models on the first turn of shooting yep. with throwing spears. Didn't charge. Didn't even charge. Oh, he just, just the spears. killed a bunch of stuff. It was like four or five models. And then after that, it just like it went. It was bad for like four turns. Yeah. And then the Spider Queen's heroic combat, killing Theoden, like shifted the entire game over here. Yep. And then uh, another big thing Joey and I were just talking about is at the end, uh, Aemir, um, uh, me winning the roll-off, which I think I might have won every roll-off but one in this uh, game. Yeah, for the heroic combats, yeah. Yeah, I think so. I won all but maybe one yep. roll-off, um, which helps tremendously um, if you got super movement spiders. But anyway, I ended up killing Aemir at the end. So the score ended up being 10-1 Denizens, um, but it was... God, not reflective of how that game was at the beginning. No. Anyway, it so uh, it really was, man. Like this is why we play this game, though. Absolutely. It's a ton, man. So what do you think about? Uh, how do you think about your army? Um, um, how, how do you feel about the game, man? I think it was good. I think there were a couple of big swingy moments. I don't think either of us honestly really made like glaring mistakes. It's just dice. Like I agree. Um, I rolled super hot with throwing spears on turn one, and. Um, None of my heroic combats went the way that they needed to for me, uh, and that allowed you to pull back into it. Because like like we were talking about, I think here with the the heroic combat with Aimer in the middle, and you countered with the spider. Mm -hmm. If I win that, Aimer cures, kills the warg, charges the spider queen, and very easily could have killed her because Theoden was dead, so he had plus one to wound. Right. Uh, so the spider queen could have just died there, and then half your army runs away. Oh yeah, easily. So easily, easily. Because um, it's courage three at the max, and that's right. just the giant spiders. And all six of my riders are still alive. Yeah. Like it, that was um, huge. But like that's just that's dice. That's the way it happens. Um, I think it was an absolute blast. Um, I really enjoyed the way that uh, Rohan plays. I would have liked to have been able to get my uh, warbands together to make mm -hmm. use of uh, Thaden's death with the legendary leader. Oh yeah, yeah. But I was worried uh, about that. That's why I put Aimer in that back corner over yep. there, <laughs> that southeastern yeah. corner yeah. or southwestern corner. But it was a it was a blast. It was a really good time. I think the the wargs and spiders denizens are uh, they're really fun to play against because like there's a lot of models and a lot of them have more than one wound but they're low defense so they still die so it doesn't oh, feel easily yeah it doesn't feel bad what he was saying about the spider queen too is the spider queen is only d4 and she's got 
no fate and three wounds. So if he would have, if he would have been able to charge AMR, if he'd won that last throw at combat, he would have easily killed the warg, charged the spider queen, and I wouldn't have been able to do really anything about it. Yeah. Because um, at that point, I'd already called a combat, so I couldn't call a strike or defense, um, which you can only call one heroic per basically per phase. You know, so um, I would have been just host. I still had the fight value, um, but. Again, he would have had basically Amir on the Spider Queen. If he would have, if he would have got her, he would have been wounded on threes. So it would have been she would have been dead very fast. Because that's the thing about this army. This army can kill stuff very easily. But oh my God, it dies. It's like the very definition of a glass cannon. But I'm, I'm hoping to have the uh, the the new Spider Kit. I got the uh, I got the one from War Game Atlantic. So I'm gonna have like a bunch of those spiders from my Merkwood spiders. I already love these. Uh, these are all proxies, by the way. These aren't GW's uh, spiders. These are uh, Reaper Bones. Yeah? Yep, I believe so. Um, these are the actual uh, Games Workshop uh, bats and wargs, though. They're not fell wargs. They're regular wargs, but, you know, I don't have a bajillion fell wargs. I think I have maybe ten. Anyway, so, yeah, that was the game. It was a really good game. Uh, one of the most enjoyable ones i played in a while. I had heart attack about four times. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure I, I lost. In all of the other uh, dimensions, um, I pretty much lost this game. I'm pretty sure this is this we is the just one. Hit the timeline, right? Yeah, this is the this is the right timeline. This is the one where uh, where we actually get the gauntlet off the, uh, Thanos' hand. But yeah. I, I guess that doesn't make any sense because you were the good guys this time. <laughs> <It's all good. laughs> anyway, that was our game, y'all. Thanks again for hanging out with us. This was awesome. Again, we're here in uh, Abilene, Texas, at the uh, Gathering Place. Um, it's a really great comic store. Uh, there's a lot of MTG here. A lot of cool Warhammer stuff. Uh, Joey actually runs the Warhammer group here, which we said in the last video. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, we might do one more and then see what happens. Uh, but yeah, uh, thanks again, y'all. It's been awesome hanging out with you. Joey, again, thank you, brother. Absolutely. It was absolutely a pleasure, man. I mean, cannot wait to do this again. So. It's great. Anyway, thanks, guys.